Well, I thought I'd shoot a quick little video to show some of the latest things I've made. I haven't made a lot, um, but I did manage to make this great big, I think it's eight and a half inches, I'm not sure, blade out of glass. Stuff's so cool. And it came out pretty good, actually. Um, relatively thin for glass. You know, I don't like to get too delicate with it because then I end up having a problem and snap it or whatever. And this was a... Um, a job I was doing for a friend he gave me a bunch of plate glass so here's what it started out as how thick this is that's how thick that piece was starts out as a piece of plate glass like this now this one's gonna be challenging because there's a crack right here so I gotta try to work that crack out or break it out early or something but yeah that's how I, how I started and uh, to nap that whole thing I uh, pretty much used just uh, just this moose billet right here. That did all the work that you see there. And I had thousands of flakes left when I was done, which I packaged them up and uh, sent them out with a garbage man. I didn't have any use for them, so they can recycle them. But anyway, that's what I used to make that. So um, with fresh in my mind. Uh, uh, the uh, video I just did on the rice lobed, I wanted to try one, uh, and I came up with this guy right here. Now, I think this one's pretty good. I like I like the base. It's got nice beveling on it, and it's really it's a pretty good point. And I really do have a fascination with these rice lobe points, and I think I'm getting closer every time I make one. Uh, this is some real dry material. I think it's Texas material, but I'm not real positive. And uh, as coarse and dry as that was, that actually napped pretty doggone good. You can see the bevels on this. So that's my latest attempt at making a, a rice lobed. And then, um, oh, just tinkering around, I put together another one of the, one of these here. Let me see if I can get this out of here. It's kind of in there pretty tight but I think I can pull it out now that rock is some good old Jefferson City chert and I I think Timo might have sent that to me but this folds out and this one might be a keeper for me I just like it it's, it's pretty long blade you know and nice handle come out pretty doggone good and it folds right in there real nice so that's kind of the latest napping I've been doing. Still creating a few things, but uh, that's that's an update on where I'm at with my flint napping. Slowly working my way back into uh, what I used to do, and uh, you know, with these warm summer days and summer evenings, I'm more encouraged to come out here and sit in the evening and do this. So. If I've got any more, I'll be sure to show you. But thanks for watching, and uh, as always, there will be more.